hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a bridal makeup and gaily tutorial if you like this video please don't forget to hit the subscribe button i love you guys so much so i went ahead to start with skin prep i had to moisturize her face with cetaphil I had to moisturize it so that even while I apply makeup on her face, her skin won't be dry at all. Thereafter, I used foundation. I used two types of foundation on her face. The first one I used was Super Stay Full Coverage. I think this is from Maybelline. While the second one I used was Omilato. So I had to mix the two together and then it gave me her skin tone. Thereafter, I went in with my Flawless Ivy Concealer. While doing this, you have to make sure that you apply underneath her eyes, on her jaw, forehead and then on her nose if you want it to have that pointed um, look. You have to apply on top of her nose the way I did in this video. So once you're done doing that, you want to make sure that you also blend properly. In makeup, blending is key. If you don't blend properly, it won't set. It won't come out the way as beautiful as it should. So you should make sure that you blend properly. So what I'm using right now is an eyebrow definer. I'm just using it on her cheekbone area and also on her nose that's the sides of her nose so that it gives me that pointed look also like i said so at this point i'm just going in with my benyen setting powder i'm just going to apply that on her highlight zone which is underneath her eyes on her jaw on her forehead and also on her nose so you want to make sure that your makeup is as clean as possible at this point i'm just going to draw her brow i'm going to draw her brow and i'm using a davis brow pencil i'm just going to draw two thin lines underneath her brow and on top thereafter i'm just going to fill everything i'm going to fill the brow with the brow pencil so i'm going in with my omilato foundation underneath her brow it's foundation i'm using here you could actually use a concealer or foundation whatever works for you so i'm just going to conceal underneath her brow and also on top her brow so guys once you're done doing that you want to make sure that you pick up any eyeshadow palette that you have right there especially the one without shimmer but for me right now i'm going to go in with a burnt brown shadow and also an orange shadow and i'm using my jordan hill eyeshadow palette for this i'm just going to do this on the both eyes once you're done doing that, you want to make sure that you apply your primer. I didn't want this tutorial to be boring, so I had to take away so many parts. You apply your primer and then cut crease with your primer. This yellow shadow I'm using right now is from Velvet Eyeshadow Palette. You just have to make sure that you apply your yellow shadow or whichever color that you decided that you want to use apply it and then make sure that everything sits properly i already said it before guys that i didn't really want this tutorial to be boring because it's going to be a makeup and gilly tutorial so i had to take out a lot of clips but just in case you want to watch my previous makeup videos i'm going to be leaving them down there the link in the description box please don't forget 
to check them out and also drop a comment thank you guys so much so at this point i'm done with everything that concerns her eyes i'm just going to move over to her lips if you're going to be lining the lips of someone that has a fuller lips you really have to be careful so that you don't you don't make the lips come out bigger or fuller than what it already is so i lined it with my davis brow pencil and i also used a nude shade of lip stain from beyond beauty just to calm the whole look down so at this point i'm going to apply a little bit of blush on her cheekbone area you want to make sure that you do that at minimal everything is just light soft and comes out beautiful just make sure that everything is very very light so after doing that i went in with my highlighter on her cheekbone on her nose and also underneath her brow once you're done doing that you want to make sure that you apply your setting spray mine is from kiss beauty so guys at this point we're done with the makeup i do hope that you guys enjoyed it don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section i love you guys so much so at this point we're going to move over to the ghillie and i'll be using an ash okay for this ghillie you already know how we do it guys the first thing you do is to make sure that you fold the edges of the ghillie thereafter make pleats on her head or on your head it's actually not difficult to tie ghillie on yourself if you don't know how to please don't forget to check out my previous videos it's definitely going to teach you how to so once you're done making pleats you want to make sure that you trace the pleats down towards her neck area for the right hand side and also for the left hand side the rule for this particular ghillie tutorial today is 60 40 one hand of your ghillie has to really be longer than the other hand of your ghillie so the longer hand of um, the ghillie is the 60 part of the ghillie that I, am, that I am holding right now and I'm just going to make pleats I'm going to be making round pleats on her head So guys, once you're done making your pleats, you want to make sure that you twist the remaining part of the ghillie to the back of her head and just pin it right there so that everything is secured. She's going for a wedding, you want to make sure that it, the ghillie doesn't fall at any point from her head. You want to make sure that it doesn't unravel at any point at all. At this point, I'm going to pick the 40 parts of the ghillie and I'm just going to make pleats. Once you're able to follow this tutorial, the same way I did in this video yours might actually even come out better than mine did so you just have to make sure that you follow it the way I am doing in this video
so at this point you want to make sure that you start creating your ruffles this is where you actually need lots and lots of things like i said guys you need lots of pins in doing this so that this actually comes out beautiful if you've not watched my previous videos also on how to create ruffles be it satin or shoki any type of fabric at all as long as it's headgear i'm going to be dropping it in the description box i'm going to drop the link in the description box so that you guys can see guys we're almost done with the ghillie tutorial i'm just going to create few ruffles on the 60 parts of the ghillie i do hope that this video has been helpful if it has please don't forget to subscribe like share and also comment in the comment section guys i still remain your girl lizzy i love you guys so much see you all in my next video lest i forget you can either open the back of the ghillie or close it whichever way works See you all in my next video. Bye-bye.